Gay author book signing event at school banned by Catholic Church. Recently, the Catholic Church in the United Kingdom has banned a book signing event at a London school because of the sexuality of the acclaimed author, Simon James Green. The cancellation was announced in a letter dated March 3rd by Simon Hughes, the Director of Education and Diocesan Schools Commissioner. In an interview in, with The Guardian, Green stated, quote, th stated that, quote, I didn't think a school today would go down that route. Green was supposed to visit John Fisher Boys School in Purley, South London, as well as St. John's Primary School in Gravesend, but both events were canceled. However, the school administrators and governors attempted to proceed with the event despite the announcement. In response, Father James Clark, the school's chaplain, threatened the school administration, saying their actions will have serious consequences in the weeks ahead. The diocese's decision to cancel the event shocked the community. A parent told The Guardian that the cancellation sends a terrible message to the children, adding, quote, who would want to come and teach here or send their children here after this? Uh, wait, where, where is this? What country? Oh, the UK. God damn it. How is this happening in the UK? I thought the like, UK was overly sensitive about this stuff. For, for to allow anybody to go anti uh, LGBT. So in the UK, like the um, United Methodist Church over there and the Church of England have like really been liberalizing a lot in the quote unquote in the past few years and being a lot mm. more LGBT inclusive. Um, but the Catholic Church is not going down that easy. Yeah, so this is why I don't buy like. You know, sometimes I feel like you know what you guys need these the 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 destructive power of wokeism to come at you. You know, as much as like we're against wokeism <laughs> ourselves, when I see the Catholic Church, um, and we're like, you know, I see like wokeism like a like a grenade, and like you know what, go at them, go at the just just destroy. <laughs> destroy that the institution that is the catholic church whatever <laughs> right like yeah, you're like because i feel like woke is everyone like, gets blown back by the woke like just like doof, doof. <laughs> yeah like, like go I, know, at like, them. <laughs> I know they're very destructive the, the woke studies when they come at because they destroy everything at their path but then when they're going at the catholic church i will cheer for them like because the catholic <laughs> you know <laughs> like, just take it down just take that whole entire institution down that's um, so funny. I think, yeah, oh, yeah. so Rudrush is saying, so the book was fine, but the author, what he does in his bed in private bothers the church. Well, so he actually does include like LGBT, he writes like young adult books and he does include LGBT like themes or characters, but he says that like it's, it's soft romance and like nothing explicit in any way, shape or form, like no intimacy. It's just like, oh, I like this person. <laughs> like, um, yeah, this was so crazy. So there were all um, several national education societies that came out and spoke against this action by the Catholic Church or um, with these two schools. And uh, they are, I don't know, calling for an investigation to these schools because I guess to some extent these schools are maybe the um, Catholic education is publicly funded in the United Kingdom. So they're saying, you know, this is a publicly funded school. Like this needs to be investigated because of we have national mandates about, you know, certain LGBT policies in schools and these attitudes are in, in contradiction to those things. Um, so that'd be really interesting to see how that turns out. What are and, in these books that are so harmful to children? I uh, uh, gayness like his I mean what do you not understand what he is does it, is a, is a crime against nature like it's 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 like it's is functionally it showing, like, a disorder <laughs> to the Catholic Church is it showing two men for example like inserting their genitals into someone else's butthole like is that sure is that what the children are being exposed to no no okay so if it's not that then what I assume the amount of same sex relationship that children will be exposed to would be the same level of same this with at the same level of what they have already been exposed to when it comes to 
two different genders of people coming together, okay? So you're all just a bunch of hypocrites. All these, every single time a conservative tells you like, the children, save the children. They shouldn't, they're too young to be exposed to sexuality. Ask them, how is this more sexual than Snow White being kissed by a goddamn prince? In fact, that is more questionable because she was sleeping and nobody asked her if she wants to be kissed, right? I'm not against the Sleeping Beauty narrative, okay? Is that Princess Fiona? I think that's Princess Fiona, okay? When Princess Fiona in Sleeping Beauty was kissed by a prince, even though she was sleeping, the prince kissed her knowing that the entire nation was asleep, okay? I don't care if you're not giving consent, okay? We're saving the nation, even if the- even <laughs> Wait, if you do not <laughs> this took a even turn. If you, <laughs> even if you do not consent, there are bigger things at play here, okay? Everybody's sleeping and they will stay asleep unless I kiss you, okay? So your consent is a second issue. But when it comes <laughs> to- <laughs> But when it comes to Snow White, okay? That prince had no idea what's happening. He just found a random woman sleeping in the middle of the forest and he just came and kissed her. Okay, look, imagine what we're teaching to children. How is that okay? <laughs> but apparently it's okay because they be straight because that's a woman and that's a man and nobody questions like, okay, why are people kissing in front of children? <laughs> My children are being exposed to sexuality. There's two people kissing. That's not an issue, even though that's a horrible lesson that you're teaching to children, okay? But if they be the same sex, all of a sudden, all of a sudden the standards are higher, like no sexuality to children, okay? But you didn't have the same standard for more different sexes, right? Oh my God. Okay, I just cannot get over <laughs> the fact that we're like talking about this gay author not being allowed to come and then it turns into you discussing the utilitarian calculation of whether it's ethical <laughs> to kiss Princess Fiona sleeping or not. And you're like, yeah. guys, you know, we we need to think about the cost benefit analysis here. No, Princess. <laughs> we have a nation asleep. It's okay if he kisses her. <laughs> Yeah, no, Princess Fiona is so saying was okay. Armin, like, I can't. <laughs> That's okay. I was like, wait a second, what? No, Princess Fiona is kissing even though she was asleep, A okay, but randomly kissing a woman that is sleeping in the forest, that, that's a crime. Somebody arrest that prince. Anyways. <laughs> wait, can you look at the live shot while I go to the bathroom quickly? Okay, okay. So I'm going to also mention that. The pr if the prince knew that she had a curse, okay, and that this curse would like wake her up from the curse, okay, then okay, fine. You know, the cost benefit analysis makes it okay that you kiss her. But everything I've seen from the evidence that we have at hand, from what we have witnessed, from the footage that we have, is that he had no idea what's going on, right? He just showed up at the, pr uh, you know, this is like, okay, there's a, there's a girl sleeping here, okay? He didn't know anything. Like, nobody informed her about a curse. Nobody, he didn't know about the apple. He didn't know that she's under a spell, okay? He was like, I, I just got, I'm like, look, she, she's pretty. I'm going to kiss her, okay? So that's, you know, if she, it, I know that it ended up working out, but it ended up being the best thing to do. But given that he he didn't have the knowledge, his, in, his intentions, like, maybe just wake her up first. Right? He didn't even try. Like, yeah, maybe the footage, if the footage, if the evidence that we had showed, like, hey, like, lady, are you okay? Why are you sleeping here? Like, you know, are you okay? Like, no, he didn't, like, you know, didn't do anything. He just went for the kiss. Um, somebody's saying Princess Fiona is Shrek. No, Princess Fiona predates Shrek. Princess Fiona is like a Shrek, is just a miss, like, it's a. Ma Algamation of a whole bunch of different fantasies. She, her name is Princess Fiona because it comes from Sleeping Beauty. It's not Princess Fiona because Shrek invented her. Princess Fiona comes from Sleeping Beauty. Like this is like a very this Armin. is a very <laughs> traditional fairy tale. Well, how do you guys know not know this? Did, did, did these people not like grow up with Disney? Even it predates oh Disney. These are like traditional stories that Disney took made into cartoons. Anyways, oh yeah, you know. Okay, then what are you saying? 
I've never thought about right. the morality of Sleeping Beauty that much. No, the, the morality of Sleeping Beauty and, is and Snow oh White God. becomes very relevant because of the because none of these conservatives were ever butthurt over straight relationships, and the kids apparently were mature enough to be exposed to that that level of sexuality. But as soon as two princes all of a sudden hold hands, all of a sudden all the kids are going to get confused because it's not about gay stuff; it's just sexuality as a whole. Bull crap! It's about sexuality as a whole, and you know the kids not mature enough. You were never complaining when they were straight. Anyways. Unless they're showing porn to kids, gay Whoa. porn to kids, unless that's what they're showing, then you have no right, you have no input in no position to complain. Okay. And that's a friendly reminder to please like this video. Because yes, Armin is saying words that YouTube really doesn't Yes, like. YouTube, I'm not, please do not strike us down. I'm not in favor of showing porn to kids. I'm just showing how ridiculous. Don't say it again. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> we have an algorithm to contend oh. with. Somebody saying Sleeping Beauty is, uh, am I getting Aurora. my princesses wrong? Okay. Yeah, her maybe I'm getting Aurora. I couldn't remember. Okay. Never mind. I got my princesses wrong. I don't care. I don't care. Come at me. Sue me. Uh, Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.